hate it when people are going through a rough time. I do. I don't want you to suffer financially. I want you to be happy. Well, money doesn't always equate happiness. But in this case, I love it. But I love it when it's a Colorado businessman named Joe Altman. I love that he's suffering. Okay. He's earned it. Colorado businessman election fraud conspiracy theorist Joe Altman. Vocal supporter of 2020 election fraud claims facing mounting legal troubles as a judge finds him $1,000 a day. Every 24 hours, he is supposed to pay up for defying court orders to provide evidence in a defamation case. Case centers around Altman's false accusation that a former Dominion Voting Systems employee conspired with Antifa to rig the election against Donald Trump. He's poor now, out of money, he's hurting. Altman revealed on his conservative daily podcast that several companies he was involved with had asked him to step down due to the controversy surrounding his claims. You're fired. This is another way to say it. A storm is tearing up the digital media industry. Only our audience can save us in these difficult times. Help us reach our goal of 100,000 new members at tyt.com slash team. I was taken out of three of my companies yesterday. The boards decided that it was better that I not be associated with those companies, Altman said. They asked me to step down, so um, it's working. I'm going to go broke. That's the comment to Raw's story. Altman has refused to comply with court orders to turn over evidence that he claims supports his allegations, stating he won't pay the fines. I'll be damned if I write a check to that piece of S. Altman said on his podcast, referring to the former Dominion employee. Look, you're supposed to turn over the evidence. You're like the pillow guy who had these calculations and a dossier. Remember, weren't we supposed to get, didn't the pillow guy say he he knew how these systems were rigged, how the vote was stolen from Trump? And then when he released something, it was nothing. It was gobbledygook, okay? District Court Judge William J. Martinez has made it clear that the fines are intended to compel Altman to comply with the legal process, hinting that jail time could be a next step if Altman continues to ignore the court. The fines are meant to get his full attention, the judge said, and complete attention. Judge Martinez said he also noted that while Altman frequently boasts about his wealth, there's little documented proof of his financial status in the record. So you weren't exactly rich before this, were you? You're pretending to be, perhaps. Um, He's desperate, he's fallen on hard times. And so here's what he's doing about it, looking for suckers out there to fund his lies and his lifestyle. Maybe you're interested, I doubt it. Altman's refusal to turn over evidence in the case has led to growing legal costs, which he's now trying to cover with the help of crowdfunding efforts. He has been named non-party in a defamation lawsuit filed by by Eric Kuna, former Dominion employee that we spoke of. Altman has accused Coomer of participating in a secret Antifa call and alleged that Coomer's Facebook posts show his bias against Trump. Well, don't look at mine then. Then you don't want to look at mine. Uh, in a recent podcast, Altman hinted at further conflict ahead. November is going to be the start of something very, 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 very. That's five berries. Two, three, four, five. Kinetic. Altman said, do I want that to happen? No, but I don't want my children to be groomed either. Can you make sense of that, Moz? Because I don't understand what that last quote means, but I'll, I'll toss it to you. I think a lot of these guys are, are um, gearing up for civil war. That's what they want. That's what they're looking for. And uh, that's kind of scary too. The truth is, this person is sticking the head. Like, I'm literally, I'm not trying to be, you know, uh, um, uh, you know, dismissive or anything. He actually think he's got mental problems the same way the pillow guys got mental problems. But there was a time when we had um, when people in, in the Democratic Party as well as the Republican Party were serious and they would together basically say, okay, this person is sick in the head, not to be taken seriously, not to be given too much air and let's move on with the serious business of governing this country. Now, the Republican Party has gone all in with believing and or giving some weight to these people. Because what happened was when January 6th happened, we had that moment where we saw 
your Lindsey Grahams and your Mitch McConnells and a lot of people in the Republican Party said, we're done. I'm done with the guy. We're, we're, you know, with Trump, we're, we're all done. But then they realize that there's enough people who are sick in the head to follow Trump that they will lose those people as constituents. And then they basically made their, their deal with the devil and they said, you know what? Um, power is more important than sanity and or a dangerous future. So they've basically made their bed with these people. And now you end up with guys like this, who, again, in in a normal world, would not even have any, wouldn't, wouldn't be on the radar anywhere. And yet he's got a podcast. Maybe some people listen to him. Maybe some people are going to donate to him. Uh, but there's enough people that believe the people who stormed the Capitol were heroes and tourists and now, uh, um, you know, whatever they're calling them, hostages, that we end up with people like this. Uh, say, you know, doing this ridiculous thing that you and I can clearly see that his uh, calling the Dominion voter uh, and, and defaming that Dominion voter, the guy should be fine and should pay. Um, and yet he's got, probably got people that support him for the stand that he took for being a patriotic American, when in reality, he really needs, you know, yeah. mental health. Help. You know, most of these people are not um, in my purview, I don't really follow all of these people, but they do these outlandish things. We uh, then have these stories about them, and I become aware. 